Hello, this is a game on 3 handicap played on IGS with reverse Komi, where white won by a pretty large margin, 37 points and a half. Uh, and that happened because of killing large on the right side. So uh, let's see how it went. Omoku, very good. Then black went for a San NSA, which is quite normal in a handicap uh, 3 game. If black wants to play more aggressive, he can approach the corner right away, either high or low. But it's good enough to to keep patient so grab a big point like k16 it's also playable now this kick it's already questionable uh, for black in general it's good to defend the corner right away either o16 very calm so when white slides we'll probably finish the joseki like this in gote and now black can just grab another big point or of course approach the lower right corner in order to prevent a shimari now black can also consider a fancy move like p15 and then we have slightly different josekis now the whole point of playing this joseki is to set up the thickness in the top but don't connect at r15 in gote because r15 is also gote for white to cut so again black will uh, extend and grab a big point but also black can consider the pincer r12 so if white goes into the corner Black will uh, go for the wall on the outside and make use of his middle side extension in this case to complete the moyo in the top. So all these josekis are quite common, but black prefer to kick, which is a bit questionable. Especially, uh, well, here usually black defends high or low and a bit more tight. But the idea is that white extends ideal at R10 and it goes uh, in good relationship with Q3 in the lower right corner. So this is a pretty good start for white already. Catching up for the 3 handicap is advantage. Now black approaches from the outside, which is also questionable. Black should consider R5. And if white plays a pincer, then discard the stone. Either like this or like this. And extend back for the bottom oil. And now play another big point. So if you look at the board right now, white is all focused on one side, while black has three sides already. So this should be a very fast development for black. Nothing to complain with black. Playing O4, it's a bit questionable because white is happy to make a shimari. And now black should play Kosumitsuke and extend back to the bottom side. This is a safer way. When black plays this game, white can push and cut which actually happened in the game. So for black it's more interesting to play a one space jump in order to stay connected, but it's still better to play the Kosumitsuke before and then jump out in order to reduce the right side. Now the problem is when black jumps, white can take away the extension. So when there is space to extend for a base, it's better to take the base right away than worry about moves in the middle. If white comes out at 06, even if white makes a, a pretty nice moy on the right side, Black can still consider moves to reduce, but black still has time to grab big points like corner enclosure or a middle side extension, another side and say. So this feels pretty good for black overall. But playing like this is dangerous. White can push and cut. Now black Atarian pushes from behind. Now here white can just capture the stone right away. So when black plays no B or jump, this is not going to be forcing on the right side. Uh, playing Nobi to stay ahead it's a good idea too, but black can push along one more time at least and then consume it's okay Sorry. And after this exchange uh, black can extend to the bottom side around j3 let's say or j4 because an extension at k4 or even closer l4 it's uh, too narrow to extend from uh, black's own thickness so he wants to extend further and if white cuts, black will just ladder, so the cut doesn't work. And if white uh, enters on the bottom side, that can allow this connection, it's not such a big deal, and go for a lot of outside influence. So uh, black still got the Kosumitsuke, which is good. White has to descend, that's proper. And this is a very tight defense. Black should still think about uh, an extension to the bottom. So now white comes inside. Well, for white, there are many big points right now. Approaching the top left is big, especially being a 3 handicap. Split the left side and then decide whether to go 
uh, extend one way or the other. This is Mi for white. Also the bottom, but the left side is more interesting because if we count the bottom uh, space, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only eight intersections here between uh, D4 and N3. So it's more narrow than the left side, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So left side being more open is more interesting to uh, play. So I play this one, black kicks again. Actually here black can consider a pincer like h3 or j4 in order to work with his wall on the lower right. So actually bottom right. So when black plays a pincer like this and white goes in the corner, we have this basic joseki. There's a nice moyo coming up on the bottom for black. Well with a kick, white will just make another base. And this base, it's facing the wall, which is excellent for white. I mean, now this wall, it's completely meaningless. Because it's just all the influence, it's uh, now uh, neutralized by the K3 group. Also, the extension of D7 being so uh, wide, so loose, allows some potential AG in the corner. So black should play tight. One spade jump, then also invade and honey under. To sacrifice a stone and secure the corner but then again black has to go out with his bottom group because it looks a little bit dangerous so black went out with a two space jump white extends very good oh this is quite aggressive uh normally black should push along and then play a cap move playing the attach can be a bit more um uh, risky Hane is very good. After Hane, black should actually play a counter Hane. Because now when white connects, black can go up. And if white plays an Atari like this, for example, white still needs to come back and protect against the cutting points. And there's also this kind of cut. Black being strong in the area, he can fight with this cut. Playing Nobi like this, white can also Nobi L3. So black is still looking for eye shape here. Black needs another move at M4, then white can just play away because the group on the bottom is already safe. So L3 is a key point. Pushing from behind is not the same thing. I mean, if white pushes here, white is probably hoping black will no be and then play the no be on the bottom and force another uh, response, but black can block here. So white should really take the L3 point first. If black turns, white extends and then black comes back to protect against his weakness. Well, black can also play away and then on this move uh, defend. But the group may become a target later on, this one in the middle. So anyway, the key point is to go L3 because when black cuts, white can always capture like this right away. So that's important. Now when this happened, uh, yeah, white went down. Another option here is to play Hane, give up the stone, then uh, white has all these four moves from the center and then connect. Or actually even this, because on the cut, Atari and capture everything. But this sacrifice is not really necessary, so descent is good. Ane, uh, yeah, white can already ignore. The turn is nice one time to see how uh, black reacts. If black just no be, this is already a gain for white. And if black blocks, there is Atari, then Atari again then Atari again, and later even Atari and come out. So that creates a lot of AG uh, this turn. And if uh, black connects here, why can Atari and capture? Then leave it like this. It's still some gain in center. So now white took a big point. According to AI, this is uh, the kind of move you play a lot, even when giving handicap, but I still prefer to play an approach from the outside. <clears throat> so sun sun invasion black block the wrong side probably uh, it's better to block this way because he already got the extension of k16 then no b and now black being center he can play uh, he should play something to reinforce this corner against an invasion or let's see this invasion is an option too and again with the exchanges at 7 and 9 uh, and nine, he doesn't have a problem in the top right corner. Um, 
In the top left, there are several moves Black can think about. Keima, Kick, Ane, and Cut. We can have this kind of Joseki. So it feels much better for Black overall. But Black blocked the other side. So push, Ane, and double Ane. Now connecting here, it's a very slack move. There are usually two options why I should think about. One is to capture the stone, Atari, and take. Then when Black plays Atari, just give up the two stones in the corner, then come out like this. So it's a trade. White is losing two stones, but damages the top with a very strong formation. There. Now the follow up in the top after pushing at seven, uh, let's say Black protects the top side like this. Uh, white can go out once, and then Hane in center. And this way, uh, the left side is not going to become too large. And then, of course, play other moves. Now, the other option, if uh, White doesn't want to give up uh, the corner and the potential to the left side, why should Hane the other way and then cut right away? Now, this cut is preparing a double attack here, which many times uh, the players, especially around the double digit Q level, they omit, so they get into the trap. What happens is Black simply captures a stone, so he goes for the bait, then White double Atari and captures the top stone. Now this is a pretty uh, big disaster for Black already. But some players are aware of the double Atari, so they just connect. Now when this happens, White goes for a Ponuki on the left side. So again, discard the corner stones, but extend, get the base uh, on the left side and damage the Moyo like that. So these are the most common uh, Josekis involving double Hane. Now, in general, you would expect Black to go no B, then push again, then no B, and push again, and then just play away, invade the left side. So this way, White builds a pretty nice corner. If Black plays double Hane and White connects, and then Black connects, this is a much smaller life for uh, White in the corner. White also needs to Hane connect and that way black builds a lot more both in the top and the left side so this way white is punished because black uh, kind of overplayed let's say and white just didn't uh, follow along i mean white needs to play with fighting spirit atari and capture or pane and cut so this happened in the actual game black played a double hanging connection it's good enough for black to connect solid because anyway when black connects here solid on hanging white still needs to play hane and connect to leave in the corner so black shape is excellent on the outside this cut is not working black will just capture in it now if white plays away let's say white splits the left side black will just descend and then hane in the corner which reduces the shape to the l formation so white is dead Therefore, white needs to play the honey to leave. That's why it's so painful for white to connect a d18. Too much pressure in that corner. So honey block, connect. And now, black had to play the hanging connection, the tiger mount to defend. The corner is alive. This is an L formation with two legs. So there is nothing to do for black to kill it. Just uh, use cotrets there later on. But right now, white is not going to play another move in the corner either. So... Black should just be happy he got all this thickness on the outside towards the top and the left side for a 5 points life in the corner. So here uh, Black didn't have to Hane. Now on the cut Black can just extend. Because even if White plays Atari and jump, Black can push and cut and now nothing happens. Black will stay alive on the left side and the top and White has to come back and make life in the corner. Then black has a target chasing those guys in the center. So playing Atari from this side was completely wrong. This is a cross cut, and in general, in cross cut, one should just extend. So Atari. Oh, this leaves more cutting points. Um, it's better for black to play a, an extension than when white turns, block, Atari connect, Atari. Oh, this attack is dangerous. Black can connect under. So white needs to come back and then extend. Uh, Black should just accept that he lost the B15 stone and he should lose it at a small scale. Not to try to... <clears throat> um, well, it leaves too many cutting points like this. 
So instead of Hane in the head of three stones, uh, Black should continue with Nobi. Then if White pushes again, just Nobi again. Set up a big wall in the top, and that's pretty much it. Now there are more cutting points, so difficult. But let's see if um, Black plays a block and White goes Atari, then a double Atari. Here Black can connect under Atari, Atari again, and extend. And if this happens, why still has to go back and protect to make two eyes in the corner. Then black can play this Atari threatening to take the coin center and extend in the top. This way the top is fine and the left side is also a lot of territory for black. And well, white made a group in the center, but center it's never as big as it looks. So playing like this, white simply penetrates in center and then plays away. Good for white. Actually here on the left side it's quite nice to play this Hane once, but okay, that can happen later. This attach is good, Sun Sun Invasion also good, and now why should just connect under with a Hane, it's just fine. So normally here, Black should connect solid on the Hane, pull back and capture the stone. Well, the corner is still smaller for Black, but and center for White. But this is a variation that Black can accept. So now, somehow black ended up Gote and lost more points in this corner, so this felt good for white. Now again, the same kind of tactic in the top right, but actually in the top right corner, white can think about Q17. So if white Hane P17, uh, sorry, black will Hane P17, white goes down, now when black connects, white connects under. If black descends with fighting spirit, White can push a couple of times and then just leave in the corner. So that's a big damage because there is pretty much no way for Black to uh, compensate from uh, his wall on the outside. So this is a loss without compensation for Black, more or less. Therefore, if Black blocks the other way, White can go out towards the top. And now this is even better for White because now White leaves on a large scale in the top, again, black is losing pretty much all the corner and the wall doesn't really function. So this would be ideal for white. Now the attach is still okay, but then again, white should go Sun Sun and then Hane. And then we also have this kind of follow up, which is center for white. Now white plays away. Uh, playing this turn, Q15 is a thank you move. So black will just connect and keeps the corner. So should try the combination again. If black just Atari, connect under and it's good enough. Give one stone bait, but scoop out the corner. So this was good for black. Um, that's also fine. Normally, uh, white can play the push and then Hane, then Atari, extend, Nobi and turn in the middle. Because black never push here at N8, so the turn is quite good to increase the right side more. Atari is fine. Black should actually capture a stone first and then push from the right side and then block with the honey in the head of two stones. It's a much more solid formation. And still, if black captures here, uh, black doesn't even have to nobi. It was to play double honey instead. So push along. This game is pretty good. Nice right side. Uh, the jump it's a bit strange because it doesn't feel to be connected to uh, white stones. So should push one more time and then came out like this. In case black pushes and cuts, white has a ladder. This way it's a bit risky. Black can jump here or black can push along like this. And then it just feels that white is going to uh, lose some territory in the center on the way out. Mm, that was a bit timid so white can jump back. One space jump is good enough. You should always consider one space jumps. Because this one can still be cut. So let's say Black made some preparation with this move, then uh, Tsuke, then push here. There's also this cut that's quite annoying, but that happened later on anyway. Then cut like this. Ah, Black went down with a Kema. And in the end, uh, he played too brave. Here is good enough to play the attach. 
and then cut. That's the kind of fight because if white plays Atari, Atari, white needs to come back here, then black can turn, Hane, and cut like this and just capture everything. So black can connect with some stones. Mm, this can be dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> so if black cuts, white will probably play some Atari here. Then black should try this move. Oh wait, there's a better move. Atari, Atari. Ah, not so easy. Ah, actually this works. Because when white cuts, this is dangerous. Atari and capture here. So it's impossible for white to cut these stones. Also, white has the uh, black has this Atari first, and then. So here I think uh, white was a little bit lucky to kill everything. Normally you would expect Atari, then black goes out, white captures stone, black connects, white captures another stone, and black connects here, then white just protects most of the right side. But somehow black died inside with everything. So here uh, this was brave, black should just exit into the center, then when white turns go out. And that's pretty much it. There is no way for uh, white to uh, surround black's group. And also those stones die in the middle. So it's a big difference in killing this or dying with everything in the center. This would be probably black's game because the top is very large and the left side can become quite big too. Now white remains with a big right side but it's smaller than in the actual game because black can still jump inside. This area in the lower left and the top left corner. So this would be a clearly better game for black. Now when white plays Atari here, it feels like it's game over. It's difficult to live inside, so... Uh, hmm, this was a little bit dangerous. Normally on this kind of Tsuke, you must play Nobi one way or the other. Especially that um, black has this kind of move, threatening to come out, then the block which uh, is looking for eye shape on the side, so black needs to, or white needs to go down, then push one time, but it's still very difficult. Oh, wait, this is a problem. Move. Yeah, still hard to make twice inside. Fighter point. Yeah, no way to make twice. Just one. So I still kills big. And it's game over. After that kill, it was too much. So well done by White here in this fight. Uh, the cut is not really the best way to, to start the attack here. Better push. And push along. Then play the vital point threatening to cut <coughs> and then protect the corner and that's it, zero eyes for uh, black playing the cut somehow black managed to make one eye but one eye is still not enough this move is not necessary nothing happens if white, uh, if black cuts uh, this is dead in gotha black. Well, for safety reasons, it's okay to play a move here, but black, white can also play away. So when this happens, block, when Hane, Atari, connect, take away the eye. If cut, Atari from behind, Hane again, there is no eye on the right side. So that's just an ultra safe defense, <coughs> declaration of victory. This is good, connect, very nice. Uh, that's not important. Actually, to defend here, <coughs> Sorry, to defend here, it's better to play R3 because when white when black plays Hane on the first line after the block, you don't need to defend inside again. But playing like this on the Hane Atari connect, uh, white still needs another move like this or like this. So white wasted a move by playing S4. You could save that point. And here it's better to play Atari from this side because anyway, if black connects, is in Atari with everything, and then. Play all the forcing moves from the outside. Another option would be to play Hane under. So when black connects, just Atari from the outside. 
It's a damage mine. Yeah, actually this R1 is the best move. Q1 is also an option. So when black plays here, Atari, take, capture three stones. And if uh, black connects here, Atari, black takes, and play away. He just dies Gote more. All right, so that's the safety move. <clears throat> okay, black tries some desperate moves inside here. Nothing worked. This was also minus. Yeah, that's risky. Oh. So very proper to take the two stones. The right defense. And is good. Much easier to reduce the left side, pushing under, and then jump in the center. <clears throat> this makes things a bit more complicated for white. But it's still fine. So those stones died. Good to connect like that. Now, white it's almost killing the left side. Uh, let's see. Puck, 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 puck. Should play this move. Well, the left side will survive, but it's really painful. Yeah, there is no way to connect here because of the damage to Mari. So black can either connect or make eyes locally, but anyway, white damage a lot on the left side and now white can come out here, which is nice. <coughs> Destroy more points. Ah, something similar happened. Okay. Should get ahead instead. Because if black tries to cut, white has the clamp and connect under. And if Hane, just block, connect, and after that connect. So, push to get ahead and destroy more points instead of pull back. It works fine. That's also good. But I guess white just wants to play safe. Because white is way ahead. So it just makes sense to keep it clean. Here black should connect solid. Now instead of going down, which is Sente, it's good to cut one time and then Atari because it creates a cotret to play Atari here. When you just go down, black connects solid and there is no more cotret. Ah, like this, there are still two cotrets, this one and this one. So black had to connect solid to get rid of cotrets. It's just a small detail when fighting the last call. Uh, this is dangerous on the bottom. Shouldn't connect. Because now, black can go Atari and then connect here. And if white Atari like this, it's self Atari. And if white Atari like this, again, it's self Atari. So, white has to give up a stone. Therefore, if white doesn't connect and plays away, when black captures a stone, oops, white connects solid. Then on this move, white takes two stones. When black connects, white Atari from the outside. Sometimes it's okay to let your opponent play another move. Okay, dog. Uh oh, this will lose two stones, so better take. Keep this guy safe. That's four points. Push was good. Again, black should connect solid to leave no cotrets, but it doesn't matter. A big difference. <coughs> Is this really necessary? So let's say white defends and black plays Atari. White can catch the three stones on the side. When black captures here, white takes three stones on the bottom. And black is still dead. So this was minus one point. Ah, now no more Aji here. So when Atari connect, when connect, Atari from the outside. Good. Black fix that problem. For white. And it didn't work anymore. And that was it. Big win by white, but lots of things could go wrong or a little better, both for white and black, especially this fight in the middle. So when white uh, killed everything on the right side, it's game over. But if black comes out, it gets trickier. Enjoy the review and pay more attention with the tactics next time.